welcome to the dog man podcast it's a lot later than i normally do this but i figured what the heck what do you girls want we got lurkers back here they just had their supper they just had their treats i don't know what they could possibly want but they're there they see me out here and it's raining real lightly all right i've been home oh i don't know a couple hours oh man so i i was under the impression i only had two appointments today with the va and so the first one was at eight o'clock this morning so i'm there about 7 30 they open at eight so i'm waiting and i thought i was getting an x-ray i thought i was there for x-rays uh lower back knee whatever so i go in and she said no you're here for your feet my god like, oh, i don't didn't get that memo so apparently they had made me two separate ones for thursday for and i didn't bring the paperwork for the other one and i had to have it i had to go another couple miles for that one and fortunately i was able to call the the VA has, uh, I don't know what you call them, subcontractors that will handle all the exams and that. And then you, you go through them. So I had to call them, have them fax the paperwork over. It was a hospital before I could get the x-rays done. All three appointments went, you know, as soon as I walked in, they took me in. It was great. I was home by noon. Um, now that is one thing in this area, and, and not just VA, but private practice as well. Usually when you go to the doctor, there's no waiting. You know, the population here isn't that big. Um, Fort Smith, anytime I've had to go there, you're right in. You know, MRIs, whatever. So that is an advantage. I, I have lived in the bigger cities and waited for hours and hours in waiting rooms. And it sucks. And nobody should have to do that. So that was good. So I got all my appointments taken care of today. Uh... And that's it. So, got my fire going down here by the creek, see? Anyway, I have a new plan for this place. A new plan. I can't believe I never thought of it before. Actually, I have thought of it, just not on the scale that I want to do. And I will say, I'll tell you about it, because I don't keep beans, you know. And this will happen. This is going to happen. Uh, but I'm adding on to this cabin again, but this time it will be two bedrooms and a large den because the living room I have right now, you can barely fit two chairs in there and a TV and it's very, very limited. So my plan, here's what I plan to do. This is also going to save me a ton of money. I can do this very soon. Um, and it's going to be, you know, it's going to, it's going to really add to the property. So, as you know, I'm in an A-frame. I would take you out there and show you, but eh, I live in an A-frame. And then on each side of the A-frame, there's a dormer. One's where the office, the old office is, the pantry now, and the rest in the bathroom. And then the other dormer holds the kitchen and my new office. Well, then you have this part up front with the 30 degree angled walls. There's not much you can do with that. It's hard to put furniture in there. Um, and when I put the steps in for the loft, that, that hogged up most of the room that the living room did have. So my plan is where my office is now, the new one that I just finished. Okay, picture that. I'm going to cut a door there. I know. I'm going to cut a door. And I'm having built, they're going to build this custom for me, a 16 by 32 foot um, shed the house. But I'm having, I'm having all the upgrades put in the flooring. Uh, I'm having the house wrap. It's not going to be like a, you would get a normal shed. It's going to have the, the felt on the roof, uh, double windows. Uh, it's going to be nice. And so the place where I've got my carport, uh, we're, I'm going to go there probably next week so we can get it designed. It's probably going to take eight weeks to build. They're going to build it. I'm going to have the 
going to have a, uh, I forget the pitch of the roof I had. It's the steeper pitch. And then there's going to be uh, a little, little thing up front on top of the roof with windows in it. And three windows in the front, no door in the front. There'll be a door in the back, and the back will be facing towards the back of my property. So it's going to make this little area where the carport is a little courtyard. And I'm going to get that. As, I'm going to have I'm going to have dirt work. I'm going to have some dozers and stuff come in uh, and brought bring in some dirt and level that whole side over there really good and do some dirt work. I am going to bring gravel in for the other driveway I have that y'all haven't seen it goes in a circle and that will be the driveway I'll have to utilize once this building's in place so once I get that building brought in and it's, it's going to be uh, probably set down probably four to five feet from the cabin so the part that comes down like this it's actually going to straddle that and half of the dormer and then what I'm going to do to attach the two buildings is I'm going to build a breezeway, a.k.a. mud room, to where I can come through the new area, you know, where my new office is. There'll be a doorway and walk right into the new section. Now I'm going to get, I, I want to get it that flat, nice and flat there. And then I'm going to have just blocks like you would put on these buildings, but they're going to be the big 16 inch. And I want... I want it to be, if he's got to dig some out to make it where it's going to meet up with the, the existing cabin, then that's what we're going to do. And then they don't have the same color as the cabin. So whatever color that I ordered, like a tan color uh, for the new building, well, I'm going to order. So I'm going to see if they can maybe give, get me five, ten more gallons of that paint. So I can fin this this cabin needs another paint, uh, dose of paint after that one major hailstorm. So I'm gonna keep the black trim, but I want they're gonna. You're not gonna be able to tell when I'm finished that it's you know not one separate building. To me, uh, with summer coming, you know that is the that is the smartest way that I can think. It's done. All I have left to do once the building is set is drywall. The electrical, which I, I can do, and it, you know, and then do my framing for the bedrooms. I think the back bed, the bedrooms will be in the back. 16 foot, you know, it's wide enough to put a couple of bedrooms back there. Um, 12, 12 foot bedrooms by whatever the math comes out to. Uh, pretty good sized bedrooms uh, with a four foot hallway. And then the rest of it. Just a big den where I can have sofas, recliners, plenty of room, and one of the bedrooms I will turn <laughs> I will turn into another office. Yep, because although I kind of like the one I'm in, it's there's no room in that dude, man, to do these podcasts. I want to set up a really nice podcast area, so where where it's nice and you know twenty grand. $20,000 to have this building built. Otherwise, I would have to make a foundation, you know, either get a concrete slab poured, or do the brickwork, and, you know, that's fine for those young guys that are in their 20s and 30s. I don't want to deal with that in Arkansas heat. I want the building there, and I want it there today. So that is the plan. Um, like I said, there's no codes here, none of that. Nobody's going to say, hey, you can't do that. I can do it. Now, this is the kicker. I'm going, to, I'm going to have to bring in another electrical pole. I have 100 amp service to the house. It's, it's, I can't max that out anymore. I could turn that into 200 amp service very easily. I've already got a 200 amp uh, breaker box inside here. 200 amp service panel. All I really would need to do is have them come out, pull the meter, so I can disconnect it from that sub panel and hook it to the one that's in the house. But then I've got to run all this wire all the way from this corner all the way to the new place. I also need electric to the new building. So I'm going to have the electric company put in a separate pole. It'll be a whole nother, you know, you got to have another bill. Bring in another pole and set it over in here somewhere. 
where I can run electric to the building and to the new uh, the new addition. And then, you know, that one, I believe I'll have probably 200 amp put in. Um, because maybe in the future I may want a bigger shop or something. And, you know, why not? I should have done that the first time, man. I didn't know anything about it. I should have done that the first time. I wish I would have. So that's what's going on, man. There's, there's going to be some good content coming up. I don't know the exact dates when this will happen, but it's going to be this summer. I'm going to begin on it this summer, have the building. You know, then I don't have to worry about nothing, getting anything dried in. The building's in place. Build the breezeway. It's all dried in. Cut the hole in the house. Boom. Then I can take my time doing electrical, which I'm not going to probably take my time because I want to get it done, uh, get it sheetrocked. And, you know, that's the fun part. Painting, all that stuff. So that's what's going on. I'm sure this went a little way too long, but uh, stay tuned. I'm probably not putting a lot of content on the other channel unless I have something going on, a project I'm working on, because in all honesty, it's just pretty much a dead channel anymore. Nobody's watching the videos. The last two that I put up, pretty terrible, but I haven't really done anything. So I'm waiting. I'll put something up here pretty soon, but... You know, that, that channel's taking a nosedive, and this one is going up. All right, guys, thank you for watching. Happy trails. All right, guys, here's the plans. This will be the back of the building. Okay. I will have a door. I'm not having a door put in there. I'm going to do that myself, so I'm waiting. It's probably going to be, I don't know. We'll find out what that's going to be. These are the plans. The front of the building will look like that. It's got them transoms here in the front. Two windows in the in the back. You know, that's the back of the building. Uh, one window on the opposite end on, on that. And then here's the side of the building that will be seen from the road. Um, I wish I, I could find the website where I designed this. Then uh, I could do the 3D thing. But yeah, that's just showing. But that's 16 feet is plenty of room. Plenty of room. And I'm having real plywood put in for the floor. Not that cheap stuff they put in. 16 on center studs. Now this model came with two lofts, which I do not want. So that's something I have to change. This is something I did here at home. But I can go in to, to the guy's office and we can get rid of them lofts. And I can put my 2x6 studs or floor or rope ceiling joists in all that so that's what it's going to look like 